all of us are waiting for 7th December. We know the problems with training nurses. And that is why when we were in government, we said we're going to substitute your allowance with the student's loan. That's what we said. And that is because we wanted to create more employment for you. What is important for you is not the allowance. It is to get a job when you finish school. But somebody came and said he will pay the allowances. Unfortunately, it was 419. When, they, when, when he went to Techiman, it took a young, small training nurse like you to say that you promised us you pay our allowances. I entered nursing training three years ago. I'm in my final year. For the three years I've been in school, I have not received even allowance once. And you know what? They pretended like they didn't know. Oh, allowances? I'm not sure. I have to ask the Minister of Finance. I am saying that come and pay the nurses. You owe them almost 30 months of arrears. Some of them have left school without receiving their allowances. And some of them are going to leave school again without re receiving their allowances. But one thing I can assure you, it is about jobs. And NDC is committed to jobs. And so we are going to create the situation where we can employ as many of you as possible. What the MPP does is, they don't employ for four years. Then when it's getting to elections, they quickly say, oh, we've opened the portal for employment. And so they say they've got financial clearance to employ 15,000 nurses. Why have you waited till three months to elections before you say you're going to employ 15,000 nurses? And which ones are you going to employ? Are you going to start from four years ago or five years ago? When I come, the hospitals we are building that have been abandoned by this government, we will continue them. When I come, the Agenda 111 hospitals they are building, I'll continue and finish them.